Hi everyone! Today I'm going to tell you five things you might not already know about amniotic band syndrome. People who have amniotic band syndrome might actually know some of these things already, but one of my aims here on YouTube is to raise awareness of my conditions and I think that there are actually some misconceptions um, with amniotic band syndrome that I thought I would talk about today. The first thing is that it affects somewhere between 1 in 1,200 and 1 in 15,000 people. The reason there's such a big gap between those numbers is because everyone's cases um, of amniotic band syndrome are different and they range in severity. The second thing is that it is not a genetic condition. So if you have children, if you have ABS and you have children, it's not likely that you're going to pass it to them because it's just such a completely random thing that happens. The third thing is that the bands that constrict fingers, toes, whatever, they're actually caused when the inner layer of the amniotic sac ruptures. So people seem to think that um, the bands are caused by the amniotic fluid. And I think I actually mentioned that um, in my first video, um, but obviously I've done so much more research since then and I'm a lot more clued up about amniotic band syndrome now. And I found out that it's actually not the amniotic fluid itself that causes it, but the sac that the baby is in. Um, the sac has two different layers, the chorion and the amnion. And the amnion is the inner layer, and it's when that ruptures um, and like makes like different strands. Um, it's when that happens that amniotic bands occur. The fourth thing is actually quite an important one for people to know, especially mothers who are expecting a baby with ABS. And that is that it's not caused by anything that the mother did or didn't do during pregnancy. So it's nothing to worry about. It's not your fault if it happens. It's just one of those things. It's quite random. And the fifth and final thing is that it can cause other conditions as well. Um, it depends kind of where the bands are, I guess. It can cause cleft lip and palate. Um, it can cause just digit deformities. Um, or it can amputate whole limbs, it can cause club foot, um, and in severe cases, um, usually, sadly, um, these end up killing the baby, but um, it can also cause organ damage as well. So they are the five things that you may or may not have known about ABS. Also, just quickly, if you're wondering, yes, I'm still recovering from my operation and I will be doing a video to kind of sum up everything that's happened in the recovery process. If you want to see some of my other videos about ABS, I actually have a playlist of all the videos where I talk about ABS. That includes things like um, my story, which is the first ever video that I uploaded to YouTube. I talked about my foot um, in one video. That seems to be really, really popular, so thank you. I talked about some problems that I had with my ABS last year, some of those still ongoing. And obviously this surgery is sort of related to my ABS as well. So if you want to know more about that, then I'll leave a link in the description to the playlist where I talk about all my ABS videos. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you found it interesting, useful, maybe give it a like. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.